गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाय एवरीवन हाउ आर यू मायरलिन फाइन एंड यू एंड यू मिस नाइस टू मीट यू प्रीटी वेल नाइस टू मीट यू टू थैंक यू वेलकम टू आवर क्लास थैंक यू टीचर गुड इवनिंग सारा Hi, good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And, and you? Doing great. Thanks. I'm glad to hear you. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. Okay. See, good evening, Urania. Good evening, Miss Liling. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? Very well, very well. I'm taller, but I'm very well. All right, nice. Did you have to work today? Um, no, I went to a meeting in, oh. in my association. All right, interesting. Yeah. Good evening, Joel Beaches. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, and you? I'm fine, I'm fine, thanks. Very great. And how about Edwin? Good evening, Edwin. How are you? Good evening, Edwin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Everybody. Bye. Thanks. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, very busy because I I I went went to Central Historical. Okay. And many many um diligencias. Errands. Okay, many errands. Okay. All and right. Tomorrow, well, tomorrow, uh, working again. Again. Okay. All right. So, good evening, um, Suli. Good evening, teacher. How's it Miss going? Miss Lily. I have fun. Thank you. What about you? Pretty well. Thanks. So how was your day, Suli? Um, very busy. Um, I am working today. I am I, um, was working today. Okay, you have work. All right. So good evening, Joel Trigueros. Mm, good evening. It's how are you? How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Okay. How was your day? Did you have to work too? Um. Mm, uh, how do you say? No estuvo mal. It wasn't bad. And was bad. And. Only. Okay. And uh, you. Um, oh, moment. I I I I think in English, no in Spanish. Next, next, okay. next. Um. And I I have question for you. Next, 
finish the class. Oh, okay, fine. So whenever you want to ask, just go ahead, okay? Okay. Good evening, Freddy. Good evening, teacher. How are How's you? How's life? Everything well, is okay. Yeah. All right. Very yeah. great. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Good evening, Betsaida. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Okay. Uh, no, how's it going? It's like, how are you? Oh, <laughs> I am very well, teacher. Great. Yes. <laughs> Jamie, hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I had a normal day today. Okay. Really relaxed day. <laughs> That's nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. Good evening, Carol. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Excellent. Yes. Okay. Good evening, Flor, Argentina. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Okay, great. Good evening, Norma. Hello, Miss Lily. Ready for class. You're My ready for the class. Great. Okay, yes. nice. Thank you. All right. Um, how about Miguel Presa? Good evening, Miguel. Good evening. How are you? All is okay. All right. Very well. So did you have any time to work in the platform today, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. What yes. section are you in? Are you all already in section four? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Very good. Keep going then. Um, do you have any questions or any doubts about it? No question. No questions? It's easy. All right. A little. So very well. So just continue working in section number four. Remember that we are just studying that section in this week. Because next week we are going to just go on with section five and we finish on Thursday, right? So please keep on working. And well, we are going to start by remembering about the yes, no questions. I remember that yesterday I told you a little bit about it. But let me just show you this video in order to remember about how to make yes, no questions in WH questions with the simple present. So here we have it. Let me play. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. 
them. Did you notice both auxiliaries, do and does? Do, does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, so... Remember, we use these... So, Miss Jessica explains about how to make yes-no questions, and that's the same I told you yesterday, right? We use um, this structure, do or does. We start with do or does. Then we need a subject. After that, we add the verb. And then we have a complement and a question mark. And we had these examples. Do you like electronic music? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do they love orange juice? Yes, they do. No, they don't. And remember that we changed the auxiliary verb do or does depending on the subject. So when do I use, when do I use does? For what subjects do I use does? Using the it, she. For he. it, she, and he. Exactly. We use does for he, she, it, and do for I, you, we, and they. So now let's practice. We are going to ask questions using the structure do you like? Do you like ice cream? Do you like country music? Do you like drawing? And so on. So let me start with Urania. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Great. So Urania, you ask Ed Edwin, please. The second okay. one. Okay. Um, Edwin, mm, do you I... like do you like cats? No, I don't. Okay. So Edwin, ask Norma. Hello, Norma. Do you like uh, snakes? I don't. You don't? I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so Norma, you ask Sara, Sara Jacobo. Okay. Do you like English, Sara? Yes, I do. Very well. Okay. Sara, ask Miguel, Miguel Presa. Okay. Hi Miguel, do you Hi. like do you like cake? Yes, I do. Very good, Miguel. Now ask Freddy, please. Hi Freddy. Hi. Do you like teddy bears? No, I don't like. Okay, so Freddy, you ask Alberto, please. Alberto, tell me, do you like country music? No, I don't. Okay, Alberto, ask Irma. Okay, Irma, tell me, please, uh, do you like chocolate? Irma, we couldn't hear you. Uh, chocolate? Yes. Do you like chocolate? Yes. Yes, I like. Okay. Pretty well. Now, Irma, you ask Carol. Carol, uh, do you like the um, English class? Yes, I do. All right, Carol, ask Joel Beaches. Joel, do you like uh, 
apple juice? Oh, yes, I do. I like it. Okay. Very well, Joel. Now ask Noel Ramirez. Joel, can you ask, please? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Do you like country music? No, I don't like the country music. All right. So, Noel, okay. now you ask Sarah, please. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Noel. Uh, do you like... Uh, dogs uh no i don't all right sara ask marilyn hi marilyn hi um do you like flowers yes i do okay so marilyn ask flor argentina hello flor Hello. Do, lo, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So, Flor, ask Suli. Okay, Suli, do you like um, do you like fish? Yes, I do. I like fish. Very good, Suli. Ask Joel Tigueros. Hello, Joel. Mr. Joel. ¿Qué pasa? Hi. Hi, Suli. Okay. okay. Do, you, do you like um, drawing? Try. Drawing? Drawing? Yes. Who do you say yes. drawing? Uh, dibuj dibujar. Dibujar. Ah, I don't like you don't like growing. Okay. All right, Joel. Now you ask Betsaida, please. Okay. Betsaida, do you like men? <laughs> what? <laughs> Repeat the question, please. <laughs> okay. Do you like? Uh, do you like? Uh, romantic music? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Betsaida, ask Jamie. Is it, tell me, Jamie, did you like flowers? Yes, I like flowers. Okay. Pretty well, everybody. So, yes, that's the right way to make the questions. But do you like, like, you, do you like ice cream? Do you like board games? Do you like fish? Do you like lizards? And then remember that the answers could be yes, I do, or no, I don't. Also, let me write. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you have a question? Yeah. Tell is, me. Is, op is optional uh, the full sentence on answer? Answer is correct. Only yes, I do. Or oh, optional is answer, full answer. Yeah, so we have the two options. First, we have the short answers, yes, I do, or no, I don't. And then another way to answer would be, yes, I like dogs, for instance. Like, do you like dogs? Yes, I like dogs. Or you could also okay. say, yes, I like them. Okay. Yes, I like Thanks. them. And also in the negative, the long answers would be no, I don't like dogs. Or it could also be no, I don't like them, right? So you have those two options, right? You have um the short answers and also the long answers. 
And also, uh, well, there's a third option, which is to add more information. For example, you say, um, do you like dogs? Oh, no, I don't. I like cats. I like cats. So you change the information, right? Okay. So I think we are clear about how to make okay. questions with do you like? And now we can make questions with other verbs. So in order to make questions with other verbs, we only change the verb like for the new verb, right? And we have, for example, do you play soccer? Do you play soccer? What could be the answers to that? No, I don't play soccer. No, I don't. I don't play soccer. Or yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, or I yes, do. I play soccer, right? Okay, next question. Can you help me One. to make it, please? One. One. Ready? Mm -hmm. so does read books. A question using do or does. Make it again, please. Do, do they write books? Do they read books? Exactly. Do they read books? And the answers could be? Yes, yes. they I do. do. Yes, they, they yes. do. Yes, they do or no. They don't. They don't. Okay, next question. Can you help me to make it, please? Let's see, beside, I give it a try, please. It would be. No, not put it. Okay, you have to make a question using this information. Oh. Your brother in trouble by bus. Does your brother travel by bus? Excellent. Does your brother travel by bus? Yes, she does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay. And then we have um, dogs and like cats. Suli, make a question, please. They do. Mm -hmm. do I... No, I don't know, teacher. I, I don't remember it. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I so... don't. Oh, does 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 okay. do like cats? No. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh yes. Do you like? Do, do you like cats or dogs? Uh, do you like? Well, do, do you like? we are using do dogs like? as the subject. So the question would be: Do dogs like cats? Do like. dogs like cats? Like this, mm. right? Do dogs like cats? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Teacher, okay. tell me. Yeah. Uh, in this case, uh, the verb do uh, not 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 change uh, for the the third person and, and those. No. In this case, we do not change it because we're talking about dogs. That is plural, right? We're talking about yeah. they. Do they like oh. cats? Do dogs like cats? If we were talking about a dog, we would say does. Does a dog like um, bones, for instance? Does a dog like bones? So in this case, we use does because we're talking about only one dog, it. Okay. When it's one. Yes. When it's one, we say it. When it's more than one, we say they. Yes, bones. Oh, bones, uh, huesos? Huesos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Teche. Okay, you're welcome. All right, here we have another question. I, 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 I stay confusion for, oh. for the is, is sentence, the do dogs. I remember the do is 
I, you, we, they, no animals. Um, so we use, we use it only when we're talking about one animal, right? For example, if here we had dog instead of dogs, then we would call it it, right? It. For example, if I said, does a dog have a tail? Does a dog have a tail? I'm talking about only one dog. I call it it. But then if I'm talking about dogs, that is the plural more than one. So I cannot call it it because it is singular. I need to call it they. So I go like, do dogs like cats? Is it clear now? Ah, uh, okay, okay. On, on, on the is plural, animal uh, pronounce plural is they. Since yeah. it's singular is it. Exactly, you got it. Yeah, the okay. same happens yeah. with things. If we were talking about a flower, we call it it. If we are talking about flowers, they become they. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next one. Monkeys eat bananas. Can you make the question, Marilyn? Okay, teacher. And um, do monkeys eat bananas? Exactly. Do monkeys eat bananas? Yes, they do. Yes. No, they don't. Right? Thank you, Marilyn. Welcome, the teacher. Freddy, give it a try, please. Okay. Does he make does he make his bed every day? Great. Does he make his bed every day? The answer is yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? Okay. Um, is it clear? Do you have any questions, any doubts about this? In the sentence monkey ate banana, I say do make do monkey like its bananas? Do monkeys eat bananas? Or if you want to change it to like, it's fine too. Do monkeys like to eat bananas, you could say. Mm. Okay. Okay. So in the mm -hmm. first one, we ask, a los monos, los monos comen bananas? Los monos comen bananas? Do monkeys eat bananas? Or if we say, do monkeys like to eat bananas? A los monos les gusta comer bananas? Las dos preguntas se pueden hacer, nada más que en la primera estamos preguntando nada más si las comen, en la segunda si les gustan. ¿Ok? Ok. All right. So, also in the video, we were explained about the information questions, right? And Ms. Jessica <coughs> mentions that um, information questions require an answer different to yes or no, right? Because we're asking for something else. And for making information questions, we have different WH words. The first one we have is what. What is to ask about things. And we can use it in combination with other words to create phrases like what kind, what color, what time. Also, we have who. Who is to, to ask about people? Right? You ask for a person, for a group of people. Then we have where. Where is to ask about places. When is used to ask about time. And how is used to ask about manner or the way something is or the way something, the way we do something. We could use it in expressions like how much, how many, how often. And then how do we make the information questions? Well, first of all, we need a WH word. What, who, where, when, or how. Then we add the auxiliary do or does. After that, we need the subject, then the complement and the question mark. 
Here I have an example. What do you do? What do you do? What could be the answer to that? Any ideas about um, the answer? I'm, I'm a graphic designer. I'm a designer. A graphic designer, right? Okay, so just to mention, don't get confused between the question, what do you do and what are you doing? So the first one asks us to uh, ask us for the occupation or the profession, right? What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a teacher, I'm a police officer, I'm an engineer. I'm a salesman, just whatever thing you do for a living. And in this case, what are you doing? We are asking about the action or the activity that we are doing at the moment of speaking. So what are you doing? I'm teaching. I am in class. I'm in class. I am listening to the teacher. I am taking notes. So that refers to the actions. This one refers to the professions or occupations. Okay, so here I have another example. It says, where does she live? Where does she live? So what could be the answer? She lives in Usulutan. She lives I live in Africa. In Usulutan. <laughs> okay. Another example is when do we start our English classes? What could be the answer? In a night a night PM. We start our classes. At 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. It is, it is correct. We start ours on, 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 I say only my class start at 9 p.m. Is correct yes. or not yes, correct? It's correct to say that. Yep. You could also say it. No. Okay, next one says, how many watches do you have? How many watches do you have? What could we answer? I have two watches. I have two watches. Okay, so that's how we make WH questions and how we answer them. Now it's time to practice in the breakout rooms. So here I have some different questions. There are 10 in total. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and work in small groups by asking and answering. For example, in Flor Argentina, what kind of music do you listen to? Sorry? What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to Christian, Christianas. Okay, to Christian music. All right, so that's what you have to do. You have to make questions and, you and your classmates have to answer. Where do you usually go on weekends? What time do you normally wake up? What do you drink in the morning? And so on. So let me send you a picture to the chat and let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. Okay, there you go. Hello, um, okay. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's start. Okay. What kind of music listen to? Um, I like the music. I like music. Uh, no, I like romantic music in Spanish and English. Oh, great. Um, where do you usually go on weekends? Um, in Saturday in the morning at work. Um, in the afternoon. Um, and the reset, no sé cómo se, sí, the reset. Um, yes, and the uh, sun. What time? Wake up. What? What time I, do you normally wake up? I wake at four um, thirty a.m. All week, all week. Okay. Okay. okay How are you? What drink in the morning? I drink coffee and water. Okay. okay. What time do you usually go to bed? Um, I yes. usually go to the bed at night, uh, oh, oh, sorry, 10 p.m. Yes, Miss Lily? Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you to use do you, as you said, um, Joel. So, for example, drink in the mornings. Uh -huh. What do you drink in the mornings, right? What do you drink in the mornings? Okay. Just remember to complete the question first. Okay. 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 All right, continue. Okay. Um, okay. What do you drink in the morning? I drink, I drink coffee and water. And water, okay. And now, what time do you you? What time do you usually go to bed? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Herbal tea. Uh -huh. Herbal tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you get out to work? I don't go to work. Um, I stay home. Um, me too. Like, I stay home. Like you? <laughs> I work. I work yes. in, in my home. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you do? In the computer. Oh, you work for a. Uh, no, sé, empresa. No, no. For a company. I have. No, I. Oh, a company. Uh, no, I have the. A business. Ah, oh, yeah. your own business. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, what can I of, of business is? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, how, where have lunch? Lunch. Uh huh. Oh, I get it. I sell clothes. Yeah. So how would you get to work? Um, the, uh, in eight eight p.m. I go to I go to my work. Eight. Um. So, eight. Joel, eight. in that case, you are being asked I, how. How? So that means if you go walking or by car. Or you take the bus. So how do you get to work? Yeah, I ate. Eight o'clock. No. 
¿Cómo Ay, es, cómo no. es este, si vas en bus, caminando? ¿Cómo, yeah. ¿Cómo se va el trabajo? Ah, right? How do you get to work? Mm, sin ganas de trabajar. <laughs> ok. <laughs> sin ganas. No, okay, serious. Um, and my motorcycle. Ok. On your motorcycle. And motorcycle. Okay. Ah, siempre me... Se me olvida pronunciar bien eso. Don't And worry. Cycle. Just keep practicing. <laughs> okay. Um, where do you have lunch? I... Um, for the moment in the house. In your house. In your house. When do you go shopping, Suli? If... For, for, for the moment, no. No go shopping. For coronavirus, too. For coronavirus. <laughs> Pero, ¿Por qué me puso así? Don't go shopping. Don't go shopping. Uh, how many days a week, too? Okay. okay. We are done, teacher. You're done. Okay, yes. so do you have any questions? Oh, everything is clear. Okay, yeah. very good. So we're getting back to the main room in just a minute. Using the, the question number four, what, what drinks do you drink in the morning? Uh, well, you could all... You could also just say, what do you drink in the morning? Oh, okay. well, yeah, because, because it's kind of repetitive. Drinks. If you say, what drinks do you drink? I mean, beverage. it would be better just Can to... I say beverage? Yeah, beverage you could also say that. Uh, alcohol or um, general? No, it's general. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, you could also say it. Okay. okay. All right. So we're getting back to the main room in just one minute. Okay, so let me hear some of your answers. Let's see, Irma Aguilar. What kind of music do you listen to? Okay, my answer about Suli or about me? About you. Okay, I like um, a romantic music. Okay, pretty good. Thank you, Irma. Sara Jacobo, well, where do you usually go on weekends? Um, I usually go to the beach. Great. Okay, Jamie Campos, what time do you normally wake up? <laughs> I normally wake up, wake up at 10 a.m. At 10, okay, very good. Yes. Urania, what do you drink in the mornings? Check your microphone, please, Urania. I drink coffee in the morning. You drink coffee to wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So Edwin, what time do you usually go to bed? I go to bed around 10 and a half. Okay, very good. Joel Beaches, how do you get to work? Well, I get to work walking in my house. All right, very good. 
in Doyle Trigueros, where do you have lunch? Um, I had lunch in my office, 2 okay. p.m. At 2 p.m. All right, thank yeah. you, Doyle. Marilyn, where do you live? I live in San Jose Villanueva. Pretty well. Alberto, when do you go shopping? I go shopping. Um, I, I go shopping. Uh, no, I go shopping a uh, a mall and on weekends. Okay. Thank you. Carol Rivera, how many days a week do you work? Uh, six, I work, no, I work six days. Six days a week, okay. Very well. Yes. All right, okay. so now we know how to ask and answer using WH questions or information questions, right? Now let's make some more questions but from the answers. So here we have some sentences. For example, the first one says, we work on Sundays. What could be the question in order to get the answer on Sundays? So what can we ask in order to get this answer? Do you work on weekends? Do you work on weekends? Okay, but that is a yes, no question yes. about uh, uh, WH. Do, do, do we do we what time? One more. What day of weekend do you work? Um. Okay, we're getting close. We work on Sundays. What could be the question? How about we say, when, when do you work? When do you work? We work on Sundays. Let's try with the second one. We have, I buy cars. What could be the question? What do you buy? What do you buy, exactly. What do you buy? Cars. I buy cars. Number three says he goes to the beach on Fridays. Freddy, give it a try, please. Where, Where do you go? Where do you go? Fridays? On Fridays? Okay, just remember we're talking about he, right? So we say, where does he go on Fridays? Where does he go on Fridays? To the beach. He goes to the beach on Fridays. Next one. Let's see. Marilyn, help me please. They swim in the river. Um, they swim in the river. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Can somebody where help? Do they, where do where? they swim? Exactly. Where, where, do, where do, they do they swim? Swim in the river. Oh, swim. swim. Okay, very well. Where do they swim? In the river. They swim in the river. Next one. She drives very well. What do we ask? Joel Beaches? How does she drive? How does she drive? She drives very well. She drives. Thank you, Joel. 
Number six. Let's see who's helping me. Betsaida. Alan likes pop music. What, what, uh, what did you let like? Let's see. What the? But we're missing. Like we're missing like? a kind. kind. What kind? What kind music? Exactly. Okay. What music? He Do or does? Does. Does. Does he like? Does Alan like. he like or Alan like? Okay. Alan like. Know? Alan like. Thank you, Betsaida. What kind of music does Alan like? Alan likes pop music. Next one. They invite <laughs> the their neighbors <laughs> to the parties. Um, Miguel Presa. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel Preto. Okay, how about Flor Argentina? When? When? No. Um, so it would be when when they um in this case we're asking for their neighbors so we use who continue who who they do they do or do they? Do, do they, they? Do they invite invite to the party? Invite to the party. Who do they invite to the parties? They invite their neighbors to the parties. Okay, next one, Alberto. Um, how how many how many does Karen visit? Okay, just Her best few. friend. Who does we Karen? Ask how often? Okay, how often? How often? Does, okay. does uh, Karen visit? Her best friend. Her best friend. Thank you. Very well. How often does Karen visit her best friend? Twice a week. Karen visit his, visits her best friend twice a week. And do you know the meaning of twice? Yes. So this yeah exactly two times right so for only one we say once for two times twice and for three times we could also say thrice but the most common ones are once and twice okay then we have oh that's pretty much it let me just erase this then and now let's move to this topic. We are going to talk a little bit about the possessive adjectives and the object pronouns. So first we use the possessive adjectives to talk about possession. Something I have or something we have. Talk about possession. We something have I have, have or right? something we have. Oh, I'm getting feedback. Okay, so let's see. Um, well. Do you know the possessive adjectives already? We have a different one my. for the subjects. The my. first one is my, I, my, you. Your, your he, your, his, his, she, 
Are yeah. here. It. 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 We. Our. Our. In the. They. They. There. There. Right. There. This there sounds the same as the. This word, there, there, okay? It's just the same pronunciation. Okay, so we have that for talking about okay. possession. For example, when I say my cell phone, my cell phone, your, um, your picture, your picture. Tell me an example using his. His book. His book, here. Her name. Her name. It's. It's home. It's house. It's okay. colors. Oh, it's colors. Thank you. Our. Our teacher. Our teacher. There. Their home. Their home. Okay. So we're talking about belongings, right? Possessions. Then we have the object pronouns. Me. And me. Yes. The corresponding one for I is me. Then the one for you me. is? You. It's you. He. You. What is it? Him. 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 She. Him. Okay, now she, her, you say hair, uh, it, it, it's, we, us, us, and they, them, 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 them. right, them. them, pretty well. So the object pronouns are used in order to avoid repeating the same words right so we have a reference and then we just skip it by adding an object pronoun for example i just bought a cell phone i love it i love it what do i love the cell phone right i don't say i just bought a cell phone i love my cell phone right i love it so i do not repeat or also we can use it, uh, well, we can use them, the pronouns in the cases when I'm talking about um, someone or something that receives the action of the subject. For example, my sister loves me. My sister loves me. So my sister is the one who loves and I receive that love, let's say. <laughs> So that's how we use object pronouns and possessive adjectives. Now let's take a look at some examples. So let's see the first one. This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. Carol, help me to read the second one, please. Our, our car in, is broken. Thank you. Jamie, okay. next one. Their house looks nice. Thanks. Flor Argentina, can you read the next one, please? Our car, eh, perdón. This Go is mm -hmm. his notebook. Thank you. This is his notebook. Pretty well. Thanks. And then I have some examples using object pronouns. Can you help me to read the first one, Freddy? Okay. The mouth is hung. The she sees. You can see. Oh, let me there. Use the she sees. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Freddy. So the mouse is hungry, the cheese is for it. That it refers to 
for what? <clears throat> Guys? For animals? To the mouse in this case, okay? So the cheese is for it. Who's it or what's it? The mouse, right? Edwin, can you help me to read the next one, please? Yeah, teacher. Where do you live? We want to visit you. Okay, thank you. So where do you live? We want to visit you, right? So you refer again to you. Next one, Alberto. Yes, teacher. I like you choose. Where did you get them? Thank you. Where did you get them? What are we talking about with that them? The shoes. The shoes, the shoes right? And the last example, let's see who's helping me to read. Irma Aguilar. Where is Jimmy? We are waiting for him. Thank you. We are waiting for him. Him refers to? Jimmy, right? Jimmy. Exactly. Jimmy. So yes. you see, we avoid repeating the same thing. Instead of saying the mouse is hungry, the cheese is for the mouse, right? The cheese is for it. I like your shoes. Where did you get them? Where did you get the shoes? Again, right? No repeating. Where did you get them? And also another thing to take into account is that, um, again, we have it and they, depending on the singular and plurals. For example, here, the mouse is hungry, the cheese is for it. If we change it to the mice, which is the plural, the mice are hungry. The cheese, sure. yes? It's correctly or optional use. For example, for example, I like your shoes. Where do you get ones? Um, no, in that case, you cannot use ones. For 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 these questions in in answers, is no correctly used ones or one. No, not in this case. All right, so here, if you change the mouse for the mice, which is the plural, then we have to change the pronoun for them too. Okay, and also here, if we change like, I like your shoes, let's change it to, I like your necklace. Where did you get it, right? Shoes, it. them, yes. necklace, it. So keep it in mind, please remember it for singular, they for the plural and in the case of the object pronouns, it and them. Okay, do we have any questions about this? No questions? No All right. questions. In that no case, questions. tomorrow we are going to continue practicing. So take care and have a good night. 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 Good night.